Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Come Along a Ding Jam. It is another open. Yes, yes there are people out there. I love it. Uh, it is another open improv jam brought to you by Artist Corner, taking place at our virtual comedy lounge called Lucille's Lounge. Uh, and we have a bunch of lovely improvisers here today who are going to take the role as actors all cast in plays that have made it all the way to this incredible play festival we will be featuring tonight. And we are gonna kick it off right off the top, uh, starting with our first play, which is called uh, Wind in the Willows is the name of this play, which, is, uh, which takes place at a volcano and lights up on wind in the willows. You go first. All right. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, you, you, before that takes effect, I just wanted you to know. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Um, I love you. <laughs> Not me? You. Me. You. But I am far from the fairest in, in all those mountainous regions. The heart, the heart chooses what it chooses. Well, that I, I, I cannot object to, but up here on Vesuvius, I know, today of all days. This is, uh, this is when I realized it. My heart flows like the magma down the creek. I, I don't know what that means, but I love it. It means that I return your love. Oh. <laughs> shall, we, shall we mingle our magmas? Yes, let us <laughs> mix our, our drinks, our vodka volcanoes. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, uh, let's do the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, heavenly. Oh. Hellishly, because of lava. You know, honestly, I, I did never think you would say you would love me after our families admitted to being direct enemies we don't have to be that's true and lights down on wind in the willows yes excellent and you're welcome to pull your cameras up if you want in between plays there's one there's a few yes excellent great now moving on to our next play in our festival this evening uh this one is called the other half of the room. And this is about ghosts. I'm not a ghost. I think you are. I'm not. I think you are. I'm not. <laughs> well, but but, but why, how come in the daytime you're never around, but at night you are? This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I'm a Halloween. God, what's a Hall What's a Halloween? <laughs> Halloween is calling me up. So you're just a you're just a part of of this of this holiday. Yes. Oh, I see. So you're just a monster to scare me, so that I get into the Halloween spirit. Yes, Jackie. Wow. You, you kind of scare me, though. Why, Jackie? Because, because you're ghoulish looking. Okay, Jackie. Oh, I'm going to scare you at Halloween. No, don't. Why, why do okay. we have to be scared at Halloween anyway? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna prank you in Halloween on on I'm gonna prank you in the emails, okay? What? Bye -bye. The worst. 
Email pranks are the worst. <gasps> Why am I getting all these email notifications? <laughs> And lights down <laughs> on the other half of the room. <laughs> oh, the worst. Oh, awesome. Great. Welcome, Pete. Great. Right, we'll let Pete get in the room. Get his audio up. Thank you, Pete. Awesome. Welcome. Great, so our next play of the evening is going to be uh, Amphibian is Who I Am. And this takes place in the swampy marsh of the Louisiana uh, Creole. <laughs> Dad, you might hand me that crawfish net. Well, of course, son. I'm so happy we could be out here enjoying this crawfish fishing together. I'm so happy that you noticed this year. That, that, I, that I noticed what, son? Well, that you noticed the event at all. So you usually skip it. Well, that, that, that's true. So sometimes I'm not as smart as you are and and I, and I don't pick up on these things, but I, I'm, I'm working on it. You're, you're helping me. Well, there's just one thing that you haven't picked up on yet, isn't it, Dad? Yes. <laughs> my gills, Dad, my gills. Oh my gosh. Son, I, 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 I just love you for who you are. I really didn't want to say anything about your gills, but, but they are, they're beautiful. I, 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 I wish I had a set of my own. <laughs> oh, son. Are, are, are those <laughs> joy or d disappointment or? Why, why did it have to come to this? <laughs> why is it now that you finally recognize me as an amphibian? Oh, son. I, I, it's probably Tony Robbins. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I finally just saw you for the beautiful being that you are, and, and, and I just want to embrace it. Dad, I told you not to waste all that money in them Tony Robbins retreats. Son, you were, you were wrong. <laughs> See, it, it got us to this beautiful place. Wait, we're here because of Tony Robbins? Lights down. <laughs> An amphibian is who I am. <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> so lovely. Everybody loves a story about acceptance. All right. This next play is, um, and we're already watching it. This is how avant-garde this one is. Um, this next play is called Doobie. I do believe I will. Thank you. And this is a film noir. Hey, darling, I thought I'd find you here. What's up, Toots? <laughs> I don't know. I've been working at the gambling station. That's a gas station and a gambling place. How's that black check table, Toots? Sorry, a car went by. What'd you say, darling? How's that blackjack table, toots? Well, had to put some toilet paper on it. We just got some in. On the table? Yeah. Now it's a craps table. Well, pumping gas isn't more glamorous, you know. Well, you look good doing it, toots. Yeah, well, what's an 80-year-old gonna do? <laughs> you look good. I thought you were 20. Come on, Ethel. I've heard that name before. That was my grandma's name. Oh, shit. I should know my own name. I have been working long hours. I don't know where I am anymore. Ethel. 
you gotta you gotta step away from the tables. You gotta get some help. Do you want? I, I want to hire you. Come on, please work for me. You need me to pump your gas. That'd be nice. Is this innuendo for something? This is a full service gasoline station, so nobody's allowed to pump their own gas. Wasn't there a, a Netflix show about this? I'm a cool 80 year old. I'm down with Netflix. Portlandia. This is Oregon. Oh, shit. Wrong show. Good show. I love that we're still getting high. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Yeah. Lights I, down. I, I'm doobie. I do believe I will. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Our last play in our two minute series is called The Wood Farmer. <laughs> and this is a musical. The Wood Farmer, a musical. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it, Johnny? Bobby, of course I have. I think, I think your, 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 your dad's property would be a great place. I can see the vision. I can see what all of this wood could be. No. You, huh? Do you think we could build a house? I think we can build a house. Do you think we could build a family in that house? Cause I do. And I think that, that we can have the, an orchard with our family, I do. Oh, you see, this is why I chose you. This is why you are the one. I can see us raising some little ones and you know, maybe um, getting a cat or a dog. As well? Both. And, and a cow? One and cow? Absolutely. We could whittle the wood. We could whittle the wood all day. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, I totally... I, yes. I, let's, let's do it. What would you whittle me? Oh. Well, first I would whittle a, a, sta a stand to hold up a pot over the fire so we could cook some dinner. You would? I would. I would. Oh, would you make me the beautiful thing to equal what it is that you mean to me? Oh, I would. I would build, uh, build everything. A pot stand, a cabin. In okay. that order. In the oh. order. Lights down. Yes. <laughs> Farmer. Yes. I was begging for it. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Great. That concludes our two minute portion of our play festival. We are about to move on to our four minute uh, portion. Um, and we have our first um, play of our uh, second round which is called Mexican Dog. And this is a family-friendly play. <laughs> okay, this is funny. All right, listen, our actors are confused. All right, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to just... Okay. Oh, now Stage it. manager! What is, hold on. <laughs> we're getting it set up here. Listen, we've just, we're, everybody hang in there. <laughs> All right. Our, our first actors, you know who you are. <laughs> we, we do now. Uh, yes, thank you. great, thank you. Uh, <laughs> All right, um, please welcome Mexican Dog. <laughs> A family friendly play. Hi, sir. I'm looking for a dog. Oh, You're hi. in Europe. Okay, hold on, real hi. quick, real quick. Hold on, Myra. Myra, you're later um, with Michael. You're a little later with Michael. But this was your suggestion, so thank you. 
Can you pop your pop your video off for me. Awesome. I cool. Here we go. Mr. Sir, I think Myra should have been cast as my character, Dora. <laughs> well, well, if that, well, if that isn't just the strangest thing I heard all day, uh, you you do kind of resemble her a little bit. Thank you. That means a lot. It's better than being who I am today. What? What? I think who you are is a, is a terrific person. I do. Thank you. My mom always tells me I'm a future Karen. What? <laughs> is that, uh, that, that's just her way of spreading her love around in a sort of ironic way, if you will. But hey, you have a, very, a lot of good traits about you. I mean, you're, you're funny, you, you, you run pretty fast, and uh, hey, you always have a good joke to tell. I do, like, I do always have good jokes to tell. Yeah, right. real knee slappers. My mom slapped my knee and it hurt, but when I do it, it's funny. <laughs> exactly. I mean, moms have very various ways of showing their love. Like, my mother would disappear for three days at a time, and I think it was because, well, she always said it was out because she was going to find herself. And then when she found herself, she'd come back and tell me that she was lost again. But, you know, you know, it, it, things happen in cycles. She sounds like a lost dog. Oh my goodness. It it's it was so that that reckons with me so much because I used to post po pictures of her up on trees. Have you seen this person? I seen those. I seen them. Oh, so you know you know my mom. Yeah, she looks just like you, but she's a woman. Oh, that's right. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Coquita. I, I, that's the first word I learned. Coquita. Oh, yeah. It's a derivative. It means uh, uh, shopkeep. Oh, that's why I always saw her at the Circle K. Uh, exactly. That, apparently, that was her go-to place, I found out, where she found herself, amongst many other things, including booze and cigarettes. Yeah, she did have the breath of, like, uh, ooh, a confused uh, bubble machine. This is true, but I tell you what, there wasn't a single time she came back when I didn't see a mountain of candy bars. <gasps> Do you have them now? Uh, I might have one. Oh, this one's uh, quite melted, but it, you're welcome to it if you like. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, be careful there. Oh, all right. Well, early, early Halloween. My mom never takes me trick or treating. Oh, I suppose. Um, She's dead. Well, you're mighty welcome there. I'm just, just by. I'm by, just by, kidding. By, I just, I just love skeletons. I just, you know, make jokes. That's my joke. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm slapping my knee right now. <laughs> that one got me right here. <laughs> oh, oh, my side. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 it actually hurts now. Oh, oh, I think I pulled like, something. Ooh. Like you've been running a mile and then you get the thing that hurts and then the gym teacher's like, keep going. And you're like, I can't, I can't. Yeah, it, it's a lot like that. Uh, only it, it won't stop now. And now it seems to be spreading. Spreading? Like butter? Like butter. Like oh, butter. That's another joke. I'm slapping my other knee. <laughs> Lights down. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mexican oh. dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. Our next play in our four minute series is called Northbound Tide. And uh, the characters in this play are the same person, but on different timelines of their lives. <laughs> Lights up. 
on northbound tide. Your skin is so supple. I I was I was expecting more wrinkles. How do you feel about this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I thought I aged better than I expected. For a fish, I mean, for a fisherman. <laughs> Wait, are you still a fisherman? Till I die. Till oh. I die. Should have gone northbound in that squall. You wouldn't have looked like this. <laughs> oh, don't, don't tell me when that happens. Should have gone northbound. No. no, no don't. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I don't, don't, <laughs> that sounds too, ma too major. Don't tell me what happens. I mean, I'm glad that I'm a lot. I make it to your age. Listen, young Morton. Uh, do you want to hear anything about your future? Or should I not tell you anything at all? I really don't. I mean, Just I mean, a I'm a sneak peek. I, hey, like I said, I'm just happy to know that I've I've make it far your make it into your age, and I don't get any. It doesn't seem like I've gotten any crankier. So I'm, I tell yeah. you, you can change it so you don't have to be miserable like me. Oh my God, I'm still miserable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fishing, lonely life. Oh, not even. Oh, I didn't. What, I didn't even get a man or a woman once? You're just living against the current your whole life. Oh, I like the cur I do like the currents though. What, mm. do I end up hating the currents? Learn to go with the current. Don't fight the current. You're gonna look like this if you oh. keep fighting. Oh, but th th that, our dad said to always head north against the current. What the fuck is wrong with young me? Why are you not taking my <laughs> advice? I'm trying to steer you. Ship pun intended. No <laughs> With the current. Oh, with the fucking current. Do you understand what I'm saying, young me? I hear what you're saying. I just think you, I just- In your pants. You know what? Go against the current for the rest of your life and look like this, it's fine. Honestly, it, I was expecting worse, which is, which is why I'm not listening to your advice. Oh, you millennials. <laughs> God. <sighs> Hold on, I have a catch. Oh, oh is, is it still tuna? Do they still have tuna in the future? You don't have tuna in the future. Oh, shit. We have Chihuahua trout. It's a hybrid. <laughs> oh dear God! What? What Look the? Look at it! Look at what you've done! Because you didn't go northbound. I oh, wait. I graded the Chihuahua trout. It's your fault. Lights it's out <laughs> on the northbound tide. <laughs> They say the best casted uh, play of this, this 2020 season, the best casted play. Uh, our next play in our festival is When the Daisies Tumble. And this is another film noir, another old timey mystery. There was a rose at the door, as beautiful as the ones hanging out my window. But roses have thorns, thorns of trouble. Hey there, I'm Robert. 
Can I interest you in a drink? Hi there. Hi. No, thank you. You look like you have problems. Problems I can help solve. Um, I, I'm okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Can I interest you in a smoke? Um, I'm I'm upset right now. How can I say? Oh, oh, don't go, don't Have go. Have a good night. Don't go. It gets lonely. Why not? Why not? I'm lonely. You look like the kind of person that gets lonely. Let's talk. I've got all these books all over my desk. I don't read them. I just want people to think I do. Do you read? <laughs> seen any good TV lately? Some film? Hold on. We seem to be having trouble with your, your noir bot. One second. Myra, you there? Roses are always trouble. Yeah. You still there, Myra? Ah, looks like your noir bot might have gone out of signal. Oh, dear. I'm oh, sorry. Myra. Hmm. Oh. Oh, well. no. Hopefully, it comes back online soon. I'm so sorry, sir. I know it gets lonely. Do you want me to try? I'm sorry? I would be happy to s step in if you needed. Uh... Oh, ha have a drink. No one's allowed in my office without a drink. Got it, sir. Thank you. You know, this office was once a broom closet. Oh, look no at it now. No wonder it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't make room closets like they used to. No. Um, cheers. Oh, cheers. So what brings you to this side of town? <clears throat> um, hmm. Hold on, let me process a, a scenario. There's been a murder. A murder? Mm-hmm. What? That's the sort of thing you take to the police. I'm just a private detective. Are you in trouble? Well, Somebody I... can't know something? Yes, I can't. Oh, uh, good. She's back online. I was having trouble sinking in. Fabulous. Welcome back. Welcome My... back, new friend. Let's see if we can get her audio up. I can't hear you. Let's Unmic talk. Unmic yourself. Oh, see, see you. See you. See you. See you next month because I don't know because I have difficulties. Oh. We understand. Thank you so much, Myra. Yeah, feel free to stick around as long as you can. When 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 are you gonna do it on the Zoom again? Yeah, I'll try. I'll try again next month. I promise. I'll let you know. Let me Stand, know. Yeah, please, and email me anytime you want. Say hello. And then let me know what day you're gonna have it next month. We'll do. I promise. Okay. Bye, you guys. Oh, so good to see you. Bye, bye, bye Myra. A murder? Yes! A murder! <laughs> it lights down and when the daisies tumble. Whoa! All over the place. Lovely. Lovely. That's improv. <laughs> Suddenly, we have Kev the All-Star joining us as well, who I assume is here to watch, um, coming in uh, before our next play. So, um, Great. 
Um, all right, keeping our festival moving right along. Please welcome our next play. Uh, Macadamia Milk Salon is the title of this play. And this is a gluten-free milk off. Well, yeah, you're preparing those udders. <laughs> Let's see what you're doing. That's a good technique. It's all in the fondle. Yep. You know, they don't, they don't tell you a lot about the fondle when you're, when you're on the farm your whole life. Oh, no. Yeah. That's something that you must have learned in those gluten-free zones. <laughs> and by what do you mean by that? Oh, you know what I mean, Clifford. Oh, okay. Yes, of course, of course I, I know what you mean. I feel like you're throwing a little bit of shade at me. Mm -hmm. Look, all I'm saying is that uh, you're my brother and I want what you want. Milk, of course, right? That's what you're talking about. I. You know what, I feel like every time the festival comes around, you know, you, you think about yourself and not enough about me. That's, that's not fair. That's not fair. Oh, it's fair. Yeah, well, what about the festival of 1987? Tell me about oh. that. Explain that. Oh, there was a really good explanation for that. Your cousin Christopher bought me this really, really harsh tab of acid. Oh, Christopher, yeah. Yep. And uh, needless to say, we never saw Christopher again, did we? My God, you're right. What do you think happened to him? Some people say he went off by himself opened up a crochet shop in Woodstock, New York. Mm. Yes. Well, you know, it's, it's, this isn't about the macadamia milk for me. It's not about the macadamia milk and, and um, <laughs> it's not about gluten. No, it's not. <laughs> no. It's about the prize. The prize. The prize. I want that ribbon. Oh my God, we all want that ribbon. Our family hasn't had that ribbon on the mantle since 1833. That's right, and I want to be the one that brings it home. I want you to bring it home. I want you to bring it home for the family. That's all I've ever wanted. So then support my milking. Fine, give me an udder. Here. Now milk that nut. <laughs> I want to get that nut. <laughs> you gotta work. Gonna work on your form. I'm sorry. It's just it's been so long. <laughs> These hands have not seen udders in years. Your hands are awfully um smooth. <laughs> yes, such family trait. Mine, you see mine. Mine have calluses on them. I know. Listen, I, I'm thinking, why don't we do this one together? Okay, you take the left, I'll take the right. <laughs> Lights down <laughs> on macadamia <laughs> nut farm. Is that what it was or milk farm? I don't know. <laughs> I put it away already. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, All right. girl. All right, we are in the home stretch. This has been awesome, by the way. Uh, we are in the home stretch of our festival. Uh, Myra is back with us. Hi. Hi. We have you in the last round. I still have you in the lineup. So we're going into the last round of scenes. These are the group scenes. These are the group scenes. Okay. Here we go. I just posted them. Oh, shoot. Thank you, Michael A. We have one more scene in the four minutes. I'm so sorry, Michael H. 
Aww. All right, all right so videos, videos back off. We'll, we'll introduce the, the last four minute scene. I'm so sorry, Michael. <laughs> it's just so, I'm trying to multitask. All yeah, right. I'll time you if you want. Are you going to call lights out on it, Stuart? Yeah. All right. Fast. Four yeah, four minutes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is called One Cat Short of a Bushel. And this is a fable. This is a fable. Mm. You say lights up, Stuart, right? Oh, yes. Um, yeah. Lights up. On fable. <laughs> One cat short of a bushel. One cat short of a bushel. I don't know, sir. This bushel seems short. You would say it's short, but I think you have not counted correctly. Start with minnow and go in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm just thinking, sir. One would be brought to buy a bushel of cats because one might possibly be lonely. One might be lonely. One might need a bushel of cats to quell the lonely spirit. Perhaps I'm one cat short of fulfillment. Yes, one cat short, one four legs off, one tail lacking. So, sir, you see that I don't think my purpose of coming here was about buying cats, but maybe perhaps on finding a Major League Baseball team. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> yes. I, I divined it from the ridges in your eyebrows. Yes. I was thinking the best way to fill my void is with a Major League Baseball team. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't go to Canada. No. no. Well, the Blue Jays, but I could bring... The <laughs> there was a... There was two teams once. There was. There was two teams once. Ah, oh, the Expos. That's the one. <laughs> Thank God for chat. <laughs> oh, oh. Such a painful memory of the yeah. Canadian ball players. Wow, you share my sorrow. Oh, so painful. Everything is mainly below the Mason Dixon these days. Oh, oh I don't know if that's true, though, is it? Is it? Well, for the I mean, players anyway. If you keep, you know. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Shut up over there! <coughs> yeah. The marketplace. I found a kindred spirit with you, yes. sir. Yes. I, f I feel t tinder and kindling with you. Tinder and kindling. Yes. I like that. I've never heard that before. As if, no, as if we're, as if we're, we're capable of being caught ablaze. Yes, with the right spark of magnesium. Yes. Oh. Magnesium. Yes. Of and sulfur. Yes. Without the egg smell. Oh, you don't like that smell? No. no. I kind of like it. Is that? Uh, yeah, I mean, isn't that kind of nice? It's just real brief. It's just like, oh, what's that weird? And then you're like, oh, it's gone, but I wish it was still here. I, I wish it was gone most of the time. Good thing it's not constant. Yes, I embrace the fact that you enjoy it, though. That gives me pleasure. I've just realized something, sir. Yes. I think we're cats. Might be. <laughs> oh. Huh. Hmm. I think, I think there's a mouse around. A ball. Yes. Oh, oh look, get it, yes. <laughs> yes, a ball. <laughs> and lights <laughs> down uh, <laughs> our fable. <laughs> 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 that lady's <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, let me see if I can repaste <laughs> the final round of our group scenes, which will be five minutes in length. Uh, and um, we are on totally random suggestions now. So please, uh, uh, our next uh, play in our final round is called Janet, the Pea Shooter. And this is a uh, futuristic virtual world. <laughs> All three of us can't get the prize money. There can only be one. <laughs> That's not a lot of money. Uh, what, what are we doing just awkwardly just staring at each other? I mean, let's, let's get it over with quickly. Whoever wins, no one has to be jealous, okay? How will we go on being roommates with one another knowing that Another one of us is superior to the other two. Don't tell me how to feel. Oh. It was an insinuation, of course. But I think jealousy is normal, especially if someone's better than the other one. I expect you guys to be jealous. You ex so now you're telling me how to feel. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I I, we can't. Be whoever wins, we can't be jealous, or else how how, how are we going to delegate kitchen duties after after we step out of this virtual world? Oh, wow! Sort of a yeah. Kitchen duties are a big deal. Oh man, we have a schedule. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to mess everything up. If we if we don't stick to the schedule, then the so, so, the, so the, the winner has to do all the kitchen duties? Yeah. Well, yeah. he has to. Yeah. Gets to. Yes. Yes. That is the prize. Oh. Okay. And the jealousy. Oh. You don't have to. Yeah. And it's a mighty fine kitchen. Mm. And a mighty fine duty. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm a big fan of that new sponge you bought. That's really cool. Right? It's in the shape of a happy face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes me smile. So good. It's called a scrubby daddy. <laughs> the name could be better. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> the material is futuristic. Yeah. Yeah. It's really Scrubby. Doesn't break down like a normal sponge. No. Better than a loofah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> getting close, man. We're about to. Oh, we're getting close to a winner here. Uh oh. 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 Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Joseph. No, no, don't do it, Mark. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh, 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 damn. Nice game, Joseph. I'm not jealous. I'm jealous. But you're jealous on your own. I didn't tell you to be jealous. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well. Lights down on <laughs> Janet and the pea shooter. Oh my gosh, award winning sound designer. Did you hear that? <laughs> like, perfect timing. Wow, whoever the sound designer was. Okay, next play up in our festival. We are second to last play of the night. This is a mythological play called Fate Never Brushes the Same Spot Twice. 
<laughs> Faith never brushes the same spot <laughs> twice. <laughs> ah, Athena. Yes, I'm here. Look at you, basking in the sun. Just. I, I need to get a tan, so. Just ask Athena for the favor so we can go up, get out of here. Uh, Athena, uh, my brother Cyrus and myself, Osiris. He's Cyrus, I'm Osiris. One of us is Greek and the other is uh, Egyptian. Irish, Irish. You guys are related to Miley Cyrus. It's really cool. That's why I like you. Oh, uh, Miley is our cousin. <laughs> Distant. Distant cousin. So, oh, Athena, it's true what they say about you, that your hair is of golden flaxen seed. Your lips are as ruby as a red fire hydrant. Then your nose, well, you know. Yeah. And and one of your eyes is like the Atlantic, and your other eye is like the Pacific. Let's just ask and get out of here, Osiris. I okay. live in LA now, so my nose is fake. That's so great. Um, so, <laughs> Athena, mm -hmm. could you please tell us the mystery of the void so that we can go home to the next dimension? OK. Wait. I okay. would like a Snickers bar from QT. Um, Cyrus, could you get her a Snickers bar, please? Look, the nearest quick trip's miles away. I, uh, you know, we don't have them in LA, so. Yeah, I... exactly. Oh, uh, how about a Three Musketeers? I have Three Musketeers. The Twix? There's two of them in there. Twix? Give her a Twix. It's, be it's way better. Yeah, it's All way right. better. There's two of them. I've got some in my fanny pack. I just got to unzip it one moment. <laughs> so, Athena. There. Could you, could you provide us at least with a hint of, what, to, of, of what is in the void? And to be clear, he's talking about the void inside ourselves. Yes. <laughs> the soul. <laughs> or where the soul should be. Oh, I guess has, here it is. Here it is. It's at your feet. Your majestic feet, Hermes, and sorry, I didn't catch your name earlier, sir, in the blue. But Cyrus uh, and Osiris. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. Cyrus and <laughs> I'm Osiris. <laughs> oh, yeah, Miley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. right. So, um, go to the nearest Foot Locker because, or in your shoe, because that's where your soul lives. <laughs> in our shoes. Is, is this a metaphorical thing? I can look at my feet, but is this a metaphorical thing? Have you ever looked under your feet? No, I can't. I'm not that flexible. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's the soul. <laughs> oh, there's gum. Yeah. But a lot of gum. Athena, my brother's not very bright. I think I deserve to be with you forever. Oh, this is what this is about. So, <laughs> you know, I love dating shows. Oh, there's a camera. Oh, there's a camera. There's a, there's a camera. Oh, I didn't know I was on a show. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this is how we do it. Yeah, this is really my brother. This is Bill. Hmm. Uh, um, Bill. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Adriana. Hi, guys. <laughs> But Adriana, we want you to know that we were hired uh, by your parents because they miss you. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes. Look, they live in the same area code. Just give them a call. Hey, this is not really going to be filmed or you know broadcast or anything. We were just we're private investigators. Oh my! I saw you guys outside my door. Like, there's like two guys in a car, and they would move for like street <laughs> these days. Yep. Yeah. It's really annoying. I, I miss my wife, I have to tell you. Yeah, we've been this assignment. What? We've been watching you for days. Your parents yeah. took us a while ago. It just took us until today to like pretty yeah. You my know. 
parents, my parents are always working. I can't believe they noticed I left. <laughs> Lights <laughs> down on fate never brushes the same spot twice. Oh my gosh. All right, our last play of the evening. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from some, I was the wizard for a second. All right, our very last play of the September Come Along and Ding Jam is called Ewok Uprising, and this is a tragedy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we mean no harm. Wait. Ah! Hi. Uh, what do we do? What is do we do we do we what? So nice. What? Captain, shut up, Sal! That's dolphin like. Shut up, Sal! Hey, it's supposed to be an evil! Okay. okay. He's dead. Okay. Okay. Uprising has started. <laughs> I felt like with that, I just wasn't sure. I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> this is a new land. It's new for us. I'm so sorry. You understand the English, though? Yes. I prefer to scream when I'm scared. <laughs> no, I love it. We've, we've come here to learn more about your kind. That's right. That's why we're here. Okay. Clearly not all of us know English and some of us are still speaking chipmunk Ewok. Right, right, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> you started it off an Ewok chipmunk, so, and then when you started speaking English, I assumed that it was some, it was very helpful, thank you. They're, they're, they're um, Duolingo. Correct. I love that. We yeah. use the app, it's can a name. Can, I mean, if you're, if you're other, fellow wants to speak and you could interpret for them. I'm not a peacock. Oh, oh. No, you're God. an Ewok! Come on. Yes, right, Ewoks, right. Right, right, right. But so, there is... Hey, Vinny, you're ruining it! I'm are, not a peacock. Are, are you brothers? No. Have you been separated from your tribe? Brother, no. what are you talking about? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that any walk? Because that's <laughs> different than normal. I mean. Get back. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Was that a Mexican dog? <laughs> it was part chihuahua, part trout. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm, okay. not, I'm a oh, chihuahua. Okay. Okay. No, you're not. You're an Ewok. Come on, baby. Play along. You're ruining the whole play. Wait, what are you do? Wait a second. What's happened? Okay. Albert, I, Albert and I are, are excited about awesome. discovering your... We're archaeologists. Albert. We're just trying to learn more about your culture. Yes. Okay. I'm not a peacock. Great, we've got But that. are you an Ewok? <laughs> no, I'm not. Barely. Not Come on. We tried. All right, guys, we fooled you, okay? You told us you were Ewoks. We got excited. And now you're telling us that you're just regular... People in suits? Method acting. <laughs> Every time I hear method acting, I crack up. You have to be the Ewok. Wow. No. This is a tragedy. Hey, tell this me more about your jobs. You guys have way cooler jobs than actors. No, I'm not good at acting. No, yeah. I'm not yeah, good. Vinny, no, Vinny. Wait, wait, no, listen, Vinny, Vinny don't, don't sell peacock. yourself short. You actually, the I'm not a peacock thing was was totally awesome. I was cool. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah, you're right, because you're an Ewok. Yeah. 
So are you are you preparing for a role or? Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm practicing for now. For my sure. next one. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny has some technical problems from time to time. Good for go. Vinny, though, to be, you yeah. know, to practice and try to yeah. get better. Absolutely. Listen, you, Listen yeah. you guys, what did you do? Did you rent a whole planet to try to create an Ewok uprising? They're like, what, you're trying to capitalize on Star Wars in a different... We took world? a hard money loan and we bought a planet and yeah. Wow. I wish I had that kind of dedication. The government paid for that, huh? Your taxes. Ours. Surprise. Vote for Prop 225, 3000. Oh, and you're political. Okay. Lights out on <laughs> Ewok Uprising. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oh. Fabulous. Thank you so much for tuning in to this month's uh, Come Along and Ding Jam. Um, uh, th if those of uh, all of the uh, performers can stick around, I'm just going to close it out for the recording. But thank you so much for uh, viewing our show and um, continuing to stay inspired, stay connected, and feed the artist within. Good night.